Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, almost spring day here in South Austin, Texas, here on Tuesday, March 11th, 2014, and I cannot think of a better way to celebrate this absolutely beautiful day than pouring me a cup of coffee and flipping on my computer to see how the planet is what shall we verb shall we come up with with this photo jack booting this is a, a boot jack booting its way into the end times this is not a photo of south austin texas this is a photo from over there in nepal on uh, i guess some tibetan protesters uh Still talking about freeing Tibet here in the year 2014 and getting the same reaction. This is not Chinese cops. This is Nepal's jackbooted cops giving their opinion of protesting Tibetans for our mainstream media photo of the end times of the day. Before we dive in, to the mainstream media let's just go over here to the left side of the alternative media at alternet.org and see if there's anything even worth mentioning here and there really isn't you know guys alternet you know i'm actually a little bit embarrassed by the left wing alternative media uh, you know, is there anything worth mentioning here? Uh, here we go. Politicians who support fracking are starting to pay a political price. Well, I hope that's true. Okay, what is Noam Chomsky up today? up to today Chomsky how the US is playing with fire in Asia and how the US is playing with fire all over this planet I, I mean as Noam Chomsky uh, reports constantly I guess he's just centering on uh, one conflagration Jesus okay here's a real important story female masturbation comes into its own in pop music there you go you don't have to watch uh internet porno anymore to see uh chicks masturbating you simply turn on mtv and uh, you will see plenty of women up there diddling themselves Okay, anyway, uh, so that's where the minds of the left-wing alternative media is in Miley Cyrus's clitoris. Okay, with that, let's go from Miley Cyrus's clit to the mainstream media. And I'm going to, it's wacky conspiracy tuesday so uh i'm going to be talking about their lead off story about this missing jet uh in my in my rant coming up about wacky conspiracy theory tuesday i guess the latest news is missing jet has has been traced hundreds of miles off course but i'll have more to say in my rant from the rock let me uh dive on into the mainstream media coverage of the uh of the end times well i don't know uh if, if, what this has to say about the end times in france this is called blowback for anybody who does not understand the definition of blowback. Uh, listen to this uh, headline. Militant Islamist website 
calls for attacks on France and Holland, however you pronounce that guy. A militant Islamist website has created a series blah, 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 calling for attacks on France and for the assassination of French President Francois Hollande in reprisal for the country's policies in Mali and the Central African Republic. That is called blowback. When one of these first world countries sticking their faces in the business uh, of these uh, countries that Mother Nature is trying to deal with on her own terms, that is a good way to get blowback. Anyway, of course today is what is March 11th. Uh, we see it is the third anniversary of the Fukushima disaster. There you go. By some accounts, this is the third year since the end times began. That's one marker of the end times was March 11th, 2011. Japan on Tuesday marks the third anniversary of the quake tsunami disaster, which swept away 18,000 victims, destroyed coastal communities, and sparked a nuclear emergency that forced a rethink on atomic power. A rethink on atomic power. We'll see about that, uh, how quickly they forget that. Okay, let's move on to our own uh, ramping up a nuclear disaster here in our own country as we rethink nuclear power in the good old U.S. of A. We find from Associated Press workers preparing to enter New Mexico nuke dump. The U.S. Department of Energy and the operators of our nation's only underground nuclear waste dump said Monday they are making plans to allow specially trained workers to enter the site for the first time in weeks after more than a dozen employees were exposed to dangerous levels of radiation. Uh, so no one knows what is going on right here in our own country. Well, somebody knows. Somebody knows goddamn well what is going on in our, in right here in New Mexico, but you ain't gonna find it in uh, the Associated Press. Okay, let's see. From a New Mexico nuke dump. All right, what's going on with the latest? UN climate talks. <clears throat> Gee, what a surprise. UN climate talks make shaky start to year as procedures questioned. There you go. Uh, where have we heard this story 500 times before? UN climate negotiations resumed on a shaky footing on Monday as some delegates questions how the meeting was being run amid calls for more urgency at the talks, which after two years, two years, like ten years, have made scant progress toward a global climate change deal. Yep, here we go again. Talk, 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 all talk, no action. And right next to that one is doing the math on polar sea ice melt. I'll be talking about these stories in my climate change rant uh, tomorrow or possibly even later today. A lot of uh, 
news about climate change. This one's simply called Climate Change. A group of Democratic and Independent Senators, notice no Republican Senators, stayed up all night to talk about climate change. Okay, here we go from there. Let's go over there to Africa, to rhino poaching in Africa, where the, the, we have this, like, this mixed bag headline that Zimbabwe rhino poaching dropped in 2013 with 750 animals remaining since the, the poachers uh, have, have obliterated the rhino population down to a total of 750 rhinos in the entire country of Zimbabwe. Uh, you, you know, they've picked off the easy fruit. And so uh, let's all say a prayer for the final 750 rhinos in Zimbabwe because they will need our prayers. Okay, let's go there for some economic news. Global growth forecast to remain sluggish. <clears throat> global, global growth meaning economic growth, is likely to remain sluggish as a slowdown in the developing world undercuts gains in Europe and the United States. Okay, well that's some good news from the economic front. And there's two stories on this one, which I think is very good news, although... I don't really know what's going on here. I'll need to investigate this one further. <clears throat> Colorado River Dam opening for flood experiment. A Mexican channel that has been dry for decades as cities and farms drink up the waters of the Colorado River will once again flow in an experiment to restore the region's flora and fauna. And uh, I, I'm, I assume you're aware of the fact that the Colorado River has not reached the ocean for decades because so much, uh, because virtually every single drop of the Colorado River has been taken by uh, cities and farms in the U.S. Uh, with all these dams. So uh, I, I am thrilled to see that there's even enough water in there. So they're actually going to let a trickle of water uh, go to the ocean again for the first time in decades. Uh, so anyway, I hope this is some good news, uh, but we will see about this experiment to restore the region's flora and fauna and, and how all of these water users in the U.S., uh, how they're going to react to that experiment. Okay, from the dried up Colorado River, let's go back to uh, Japan where we see anti-nuclear sentiment strong three years after Japan's triple disaster. Protesters march in the city of Fukushima as anti-nuclear sentiment remains strong in Japan three years after the triple disaster which triggered the nation's worst nuclear crisis ever. And many people would say the planet's worst nuclear crisis ever. All right. I'll be out shortly to help you. Uh, I see we're still carrying flood debris around. Speaking of flood debris, uh, what's going on in Montana today? 
uh, flooding swells Montana rivers and washes out roads. Or hundreds of people have been left cut off by swollen rivers and impassable waterlogged roads. All right. Now here's a uh, easy question to answer in the mainstream media. A no-brainer question, uh, which you better believe you can be asking more and more over the next few years. Is a shrinking wilderness the hidden cost of energy security? Well, uh, the the, the no-brainer question is yes it is, but then of course that word hidden, there's nothing hidden about it. Uh, the, the, these goddamn frackers and uh, oil drillers and gas drillers and coal miners and good god uh, wind farms, solar farms, uh, there, there's, there's nothing hidden about it. it. It is in our face. They are rubbing our faces in it as uh, I keep bandying about this, this figure, 800,000 acres of our public lands in the West have been handed over to the planet eaters. Yeah, I would say 800,000 acres of our public lands does count for a shrinking wilderness. Jesus. Moving on from the shrinking wilderness of the American West Let's see, what is uh, going on over there in Syria today where we find this report, latest report from the UN, Syria conflict affects five and a half million children. The number of children affected by Syria's war doubled in the past year to five and a half million. A heart-rendering picture of an entire generation on the verge of being lost. The report entitled Under Siege. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, speaking of children, I mentioned this, the children of Japan, uh, three years later, battling the invisible enemy of radiation poisoning from Japan to Mozambique, uh, sounds just like Montana, residents told to evacuate as Mozambique hit by flooding. All right, quote, we are calling on the population to leave. There you go. Calling on the population of Mozambique to leave. All right, what is going on? All right, the, this news just 40 minutes ago, the latest news on this uh, oil, this North Korean oil tanker. Uh, well, it looks like, guys, <laughs> uh, you, you know, the Libyan army uh, making all these threats, how they were going to blow up this, this ship if it, if it got away. And guess what, guys? It did. Uh, and what happened? We find the headline, Libya Prime Minister ousted after tanker escapes to sea with rebel oil. You think the, the goddamn uh, Libyan army could have uh, kept that, that one boat from escaping back to North Korea full of oil, but uh, I guess somehow that boat just managed to escape and now the Libyan Prime Minister out of a job. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay. Let's see. What is going on with the Supreme Court today? Supreme Court will not hear dispute over boobies bracelets. There you go. Good for the Supreme Court uh, not lowering themselves to talk about boobies bracelets. Okay, here's one for all you eco-utopians looking in to the end times. EPA's new car emissions standards will clear the air. All right, the EPA saving the planet through its new car emissions. There you go. New car emissions clearing the air. Okay. All right, there are some humorous stories uh, in here today, but they have nothing to do uh, with the end times, so I'll just have to skip over them, uh, although there are some uh, humorous ones. Okay, now what is our esteemed Attorney General Eric Holder up to today? Holder, heroin, an urgent public health crisis. All right, Eric Holder called the increase in heroin-related deaths an urgent and growing public health crisis. I'm not sure why Eric Holder is uh, weighing in on this, but I'm quite sure that uh, heroin usage will be increasing steadily as uh, the end times unroll. What is going on with these t over there in Thailand? Now, now, now this one, uh, for any of you who do not understand how uh, the global corporatocracy has governments in all over this planet in its pocket. Thailand to lift state of emergency as business suffers. Okay. Uh, Thailand is expected to lift a state of emergency in Bangkok two months after it was imposed because of pressure from businesses. And I've been uh, talking about this, how this state of emergency is bad for business. So they tried last week decorating their police checkpoints with fresh flowers. But uh, the businessman has said, okay, guys, we are, the tourists are leaving. There is no emergency. And uh, so there you go. If you want to lift a state of emergency, you simply piss off the local businesses. Okay, uh, I better move along. Um, good Lord. McDonald's sales dip amid shifting eating habits. Ha. Huh. There you go. I guess people are switching to the caveman diet, asking themselves what cavemen ate and they're not coming up with Big Macs for the answer. All right. Twelve questions to ask yourself when writing your resume. I, I, I think you should ask yourself one question. Why am I writing a resume to, uh, to imprison myself into the matrix? That would be the number one question. All right, I need to move along. Uh, more stories from the Geneva Motor Show. 
Okay. Um, drought prompts officials to release water in Delta. The drought in California has prompted officials to release fresh water into the Delta after high salinity levels were found in the water. I bet. Okay, I need to, uh, it, it, it's hard to not comment on some of these hilarious stories, but I've only got four and a half minutes to talk about the end time. So let me jump ahead. A uh, bunch of earthquakes in California as, uh, as Jerry Brown rolls out the red carpet to frackers, we see the earthquakes ramping up in California. Let's see. Here is suicide bombers in Syria. Let's see. More earthquakes in California. Alright, another story about uh, Fukushima. Contaminated water still troubles Japan nuke plant. Gee, you think so? The radioactive water that has accumulated at Japan's crippled nuclear power plant remains the biggest problem hampering the cleanup process three years after the disaster. Gee, no shit, Sherlock. You think so? And that story will be just as true in another three years. Back to Syria, more than 500,000 in Syria without food aid. The World Food Program said Monday that insecurity in Syria was cutting off half a million people from the food aid they need. While a lack of funds has also forced the UN Food Agency to slash rations. There you go. And I'm better. Here's, here's, uh, the, the, I, I can't imagine how long this story goes on. Uh, fact checking Sarah Palin at CPAC. There, there you go. Uh, it's still talking about Sarah Palin's speech at this group of conservative Christians. I could imagine uh, trying to fact check that one. Okay. More stories on earthquakes in California. Let's see. Good Lord, I need to wrap it up. Let's jump down to uh, the bottom where we find Pope Francis Factor blows away Vatican cobwebs. Not sure what that means, but anyway, guys. I need to head out into this gorgeous day to help drag in some more flood flotsam and jetsam and I will be on my rock later to bring you my wacky conspiracy uh, Tuesday about this airplane. Where is the airplane for this? March 11th, 2014, peek into the end times. Bye, guys.